Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all have had a fantastic week, a wonderful weekend. And as always, I am honored to be your sister. Thank you for coming to hear the word of the Lord. Praise the living God. So I will not be before you long, brothers and sisters, but I want to give you a prophetic word of encouragement from the Lord. And this word of encouragement is based upon the burden that God has placed upon my heart. Why? Because of comments that I've been seeing up under my Q&A videos and other correspondences, uh, which led me to go to God to talk to him about this. And this burden is concerning what seems to be an endless battle for you as the body of Christ that you've been fighting for quite some time time. So with that being said, you all know my stance. Praise God. Please do not come to me. All right. Concerning any questions about this word, it is your responsibility to go to God for yourself and ask the questions. According to first John chapter four, it says, test the spirit behind every message that you hear from a prophetic voice. Okay. The Bible also talks about how we must show ourselves approved. I'm just the messenger people of God. And so I have to send you back to God. If you need some help on how to approach God, I have a video in the description box and it gives you some really easy, quick tips on how to approach God when you are wanting to know if a prophetic word concerns you or not. Okay. So the Lord is saying that many of you are still contending with those stubborn, wicked enemies that are coming against you or against the assignment that God has given you to do in this particular hour, in this season of your life. And these vessels that Satan using to fight against you are certain family members, uh, certain co-workers. Um, for some of you, it may be an ex-friend, maybe just people that don't really even know you personally, but somehow or another, they have some kind of vendetta against you if that makes sense. And as a result, the Lord is saying that many of you have lost hope because it just does not look like God is going to do anything about these people. It doesn't look like God is even going to step in as it relates to the acts and the deeds of these relentless vessels, right? That are coming for you. And people have got to add the explanation of why this burden has been placed upon me. I said earlier that this word comes from an email. It comes from comments, but I recently received an email where a sister in Christ mentioned that her family had been attacking her for years. And despite her prayers and, 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 and her petitions that she's been making to the Lord over the past few weeks, few months, she said, Shanika, the attacks just keep coming. She said, I can't pray anymore. And I just don't understand why these attacks continue to come. And as I was corresponding with this woman of God, my heart went out to her because I, among other brothers and sisters, maybe some of you that are watching today can relate to being attacked for no apparent reason because of jealousy, because of animosity, because of the past, uh, because of something that you may have said and they didn't like it or any type of negative negative feelings or emotions or actions coming from another person. Amen. And I remember going to God about that comment. It really disturbed my spirit. And right before I could really say anything to God in that moment, people of God, I'm telling you how it happened. I heard the Holy Spirit say, Shanika, tell them when they are subdued, they will see it. Oh my. The Lord says to repeat that. Listen carefully. People People of God. The Lord says for those of you that have been standing in righteousness, not perfectly, but you have been faithfully seeking relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is saying that when they are subdued, you will see it, says the Lord. Somebody says, what does subdued mean? Well, as it relates to this word, people of God, subdued means that the enemy, okay, your enemy, your adversary, the vessel of Satan, the mind traps, okay, will either be muted, restrained, or destroyed. People of God, as believers, it is very easy for us to become complacent and believing that we are exempt 
from being attacked by the enemy. Why? Because we know that the God we serve is big. God is Alpha. He is Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the king of the world. And the Bible also tells us that there is nothing in the entire universe that can come against him, that can come against almighty God. This is very true. God is almighty, but the Lord says he wants you to listen carefully. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is saying that although he is almighty, God says he never said the enemy would not carry out its attacks against you. The Lord says to repeat that. God says, even though he is alpha omega, almighty God, he says he never told any of us that the adversary would not carry out its attacks against us. People of God in the book of Psalm chapter 37 verse 7, what does David say here? And I'm paraphrasing. He says to be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret. Come on, Holy Ghost. When people succeed in their wickedness, do not be afraid when people succeed in their wicked ways, because when they carry out their wicked schemes, they will be destroyed. That is what the word of God says. So we can see in this verse that David is confirming that even though God can easily take your enemy out, God will allow Satan to attack you. Why? Because there is a purpose, a perfect purpose in him allowing for this to happen. The Lord says, listen and hear the word of the Lord. God says, I allowed your adversary to plot. I allowed your adversary to plan. I allowed your adversary to scheme against you because I need for your enemy, your adversary to know that I, the Lord, your God, am backing you right before they are subdued, says the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we must understand the Lord's word will not return to him void. And God is not a man that he shall lie. Therefore, you must know as a body of Christ, as a child of God, and believe that God will soon relieve you of those that persistently pursue you in wickedness. Do you hear the word of the Lord? Somebody says, well, Shanika, how can I know this to be true? Because I've been going through this for so long and I'm so tired and I'm weary. How can I know this to be true? Well, I say to you, brothers and sisters, the Bible says in Psalm chapter 37, to hope in the Lord and to keep his way and he shall exalt you you to inherit the land when the wicked are destroyed. Okay. And the word goes on to promise the children of God that they will not be left to wonder about the fate of their adversary, but that the children of the most high God will witness the subduing of the enemy of the adversary with their own eyes, says the Lord. People of God, I've been in the book of Psalms for a few days, chapter 37 of Psalms, verses 35 through 36. And I want you to read along with me if you have your Bibles so that your spirit be calmed right now in this hour in Jesus name and that you rejoice in the Lord for what he is getting ready to prophesy to you. Verse 35, it says, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Verse 36, yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Did you hear that people of God? How many of you caught that in the spirit realm? With the verses that we just read, he's saying to hold on, be patient and do not grow weary in well doing. God says, do not fret, do not become bitter. Do not become angry about those who do wrong or carry out their wicked attacks against you. God says, be still my beloved and know that I am God. God says he is accelerating all things in the earth. And because you are a righteous one, because you are a chosen one, hear the word of encouragement from the Lord. God is saying, 
that he will accelerate judgment and bring to pass that soon your enemy will be no more and like the grass, your enemies will wither like green plants. They will soon die away and the wicked will be subdued, says the Lord. The Lord says that now is the time where if your adversaries, listen, your enemies, the vessels of Satan do not repent this day, my promise, the Lord says, will manifest in your lives quickly, says the Lord. And as I have previously promised you in my word, my beloved children will witness this with their own eyes when they discover that their present adversaries have been subdued, says the Lord. God says, be encouraged, my beloved children. Keep running the race. Continue to carry your cross. Continue to be obedient in all tasks and all assignments that he has given you. And God is saying that he is going to keep you. God says that you are covered and soon he is going to relieve you of the turmoil. He's going to relieve you of the stress. God says he's gonna relieve you of the relentless attacks that have been trying to keep you from completing what he has called you to do in this season. God says, will you believe? God says, take heed to this word. Be encouraged, says the living God. Wow, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a powerful word of love and encouragement from our Lord today. People of God, the Lord has a perfect plan and he has good reason why he allows attack and it is for our own good. It's for our strengthening. It's for the perfecting of our faith, right? And we give God all the glory for giving us hope in this word that even though this walk with him is not easy and it comes with persecution and it comes with attacks from the enemy, God wants you and I to know that he is still in control and he is watching over us. And there is not one thing that God is not seeing in the earth. And there is not one thing that is happening in your life that God has not planned to take care of, to vindicate, to avenge you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. So that is it, people of God. Before I get off of here, let us say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you that you love us more than we love our own selves. We know this to be true because you bring us these words of encouragement. You bring us the prophetic word. You give us insight concerning the things that are in our lives that are causing us turmoil, causing us to be weary, causing us to be upset and all of those things and not really understanding why things are happening the way they're happening. We thank you, Lord, that you have our best interests in mind and that you allow attacks from the enemy for our strengthening and the perfecting of our faith, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you are a God of grace and mercy and that you extend this to even our enemies, allowing for them to repent before you will place judgment upon them. And Father, meanwhile, while you're dealing with the adversary, we thank you, Lord God, that you are mending our hearts, that you are comforting our minds, Lord God, and you are casting your peace, your joy and your happiness up over us as you are processing our situations individually, as you are shaping and molding us and getting us ready and prepared for all of the things that you will have us do in the earth. Father, we ask that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, that you will continue to lead and guide us in all the ways that we should go. We thank you, Lord, for the angels that you dispatch, Lord God, to minister to us, to guard the perimeters of our families, our homes. We thank you, Lord God, that you open up our hearts and minds to repentance, to be corrected, to be rebuked, and to be into position to receive your realignment in our lives. Father, we just want to give you all glory. We want to give you honor and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray amen and amen. Men. So people of God, remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. If it's the Lord's will, I'll be back here to release another prophetic word from the Lord. I love you guys, and I want you to have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Okay, bye.